You're watching Central Illinois Newsday on WMBD. And we are in the kitchen this Friday. We are getting started with all things 4th of July, and we have a perfect side dish that you can take to any get-together you might have this weekend. Yeah, you know what? 4th of July, one of my favorite holidays, cooking outside. And the thing I think people forget, you want to make it easy. You don't want to make it complicated. Yes. You know, you want to be sure that you can have plenty of time to spend with your family and friends. This, I had some friends over uh, about a week ago, and I just made these beans up and you know I don't know this I wrote the recipe thinking this is just good the way it is yeah there's no madness to it there's no rhyme or reason to it but I want to share it with you because I really like it it goes together very well so what I've done to begin this with I've taken a pound of I used hot sausage now if you want to use mild mm. sausage you can but I brown up the bacon a little bit I got a pound of bacon chopped up and a pound of the sausage so you brown the bacon up a little bit with a little bit of vegetable oil about two tablespoons once that starts to brown you add the sausage and cook it until it starts to brown up. And then comes the fun part because you put all these different ingredients in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use bell peppers. I've got green, I've got red, I've got yellow, I've got orange, and here I've got some serrano pepper and a little bit of fresh garlic. So we're gonna add all that to it. And again, this uh, is colorful, it's fun, it's got a lot of good vegetables in it so it's healthy. And then I've got my favorite Vidalia onion, which is a good sweet onion, terrific to cook with. Uh, I like it raw too, but it's really good to cook with. So we're just gonna add all that. And the neat thing about this, you just add it all at once. So you put Love it in it. there and we just kind of saute that together in a pot like that. And uh, this gets cooked and then it ends up in the oven. So what we do is we just cook this and you want to really sweat those vegetables out. So they're tender, you want to make sure the sausage is cooked, but it's so easy to make and it's really, you know, quite colorful. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to the beans, so what I do is I season this a little bit with some kosher salt and a little bit of black pepper. You know, these are very rustic dishes. Beans is a very rustic dish. You don't have to be fancy on 4th of July. Just make it fun, make yeah. it exciting, have lots of colors, and, uh, and this is a really good way to go. So we've got all our vegetables in there. We're just going to saute those together. And as it cooks, you want to see your vegetables will retain their color, but they'll sweat out all those nice flavors. Mm -hmm. Your sausage is cooked. Your bacon's about done. And then we're going to add a little bit of this. And I like this. This is just a roasted, fire roasted garlic seasoning. Okay. A couple tablespoons of that. You can get various brands. I like this brand a lot. So if you want to <laughs> use this brand, you can. There you go. And that's a good one. And then I like uh, beans. So you can buy like regular pork and beans, mm -hmm. whatever. I like a couple different varieties because they do come, you know, already kind of seasoned. And again, this is about simplicity. Right. So what I'm going to add to that is a 15 ounce can of black beans that I just drained because it gives it a nice contrast. And then here I've got like a smokehouse and a southern barbecue. So we're just going to add those beans. Now you can add your favorite ones. These two go great in this recipe with the black beans. I think it's wonderful. And then to that, we're going to add one cup of barbecue sauce. And then this whole thing goes in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay. And uh, after that, it's done, it's ready to go. Leftovers go in the fridge and keep them all weekend. Wow, I love that. We've got our camera operators, uh, they're salivating at the mouth behind <laughs> and they're ready for this taste test, I'm sure. So Chef Mark, that sounds wonderful. We'll pop it in the oven and let it do its thing. Yeah, I think you're really gonna like it. Simple I am excited. And fun. I can say I've never tried baked beans like this. So yeah. It's It'll be entry. interesting for sure. <laughs> well, the 4th of July is almost here, so Adam Sherwinski is going to tell you all you need to know about your holiday weekend forecast coming up after the break. Stick around.